Okay, so I made a big deal in our acid base chapter on how exciting it was to get information about stability. Do you remember that? I talked about pKa. Where are we here? Talked about pKa, and I said this is a big deal because it tells us about stability. Remember that? So I said that the measure of the strength of an acid has to do with the stability of its conjugate base. And so we said, all right, so this conjugate base right here, as stable as it is, that's how strong of an acid this is, right? So if you have an, if you have an acid with a low pKa, that tells you that that is stable. If pKa, I spell K, is low, right? If the pKa of this acid is low, that means this is stable, all right? Always. Very, very helpful information. All we do is look it up in a table, and we're going to memorize some things, right, that are going to just simply give us information about stabilities. Well, I want to take a brief pit stop here now. We're talking about alkanes, and I want to talk about the stability of alkanes. Just to point out a quick little rule, okay? The relative stability of different isomers can be determined by burning them, okay? So if you take what is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Take octane, which is gasoline, I guess. If you take octane and burn it in oxygen and you get carbon dioxide and water, you get 5470 kilojoules per mole. Okay, what does that mean? Well, you know, let's look at it relatively. Who knows what that means, okay? But if you take a couple carbons off and move them over a little bit, in other words, if you increase branching, If you increase branching, then you have a more stable molecule. Can you see that if you burn that and get carbon dioxide and water, you actually get less, right? You only get 5460 kilojoules per mole, right? So it looks like branching increases the stability. Branching increases stability, okay? Branching increases stability. And we see a more evidence of that yet if we take two more carbons off and move them over. So branching increases stability. So I'm going to go back over to this previous slide here. I'm going to write this out. I'm going to say pKa tells us something about stability and branching in isomers, right? Increases Stability. All right. Branching in isomers increases stability. So low pKa means that your conjugate base is stable. It doesn't mean the acid is stable. It means the conjugate base, right? Low pKa means the conjugate base is stable and branching in isomers increases stability. All right. We're going to build this all summer. Ways that we can automatically identify stability and achieve honestly great power therewith.